energy imprints, what are they? Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, uh, so I did a little discussion on like energy reading, things like that. And this one, I just want to talk about energy imprints. Um, so energy imprints are things that are um, left in a space. And so a lot of times you can pick up on energy um, if you're in tune with it, you know, um, having that understanding that, you know, when you go into different spaces and places, you pick up on different energy, whether you're aware of it or not, it is really up to you and how in tune you are to yourself and what's yours, what's not yours, um, and where you're going and how you're picking up on it. And a lot of people can sense these things when they go into, um, I'm going to use the term Walmart because a lot of us understand that. Um, when you go into Walmart or if you go into like Target or you go into um, other places, there's different energies and vibrations that are there, right? An imprint. So what's an imprint? It's the energy that resides there, the, the purpose of that, um, whether it's something um, uh, that you're picking up on or is it yours? So it's knowing the difference because you can be in a really good day um, being blissful and then walk into a place and then leave either drained or unhappy or mad or upset, right? And it really may not even have anything to do with the situation that happened during that time, but it's just something that um, maybe you've um, experienced um, just by being there. And so an energy imprint um, can be anywhere, right? And a lot of times um, you might hear about people healing, um, you know, land or um, when you go into a house, you just get this feeling like somebody's standing there. Not necessarily always, you know, a ghost or anything like that. Um, but can be, you have, of course, people who've passed over who do come back. Um, and then people who are... Um, you know, being on the other side of the veil, but you do have your energy imprint. So energy imprint is energy that's left behind, whether it's been from a traumatic experience or um, somebody who's not gone over what they call to the light, um, or um, could be, you know, there's different things that are, that are going on that's um, beyond, you know, the physical. Um, but I really don't get too much into, you know, people who haven't gone over, you know, to the light because to me that's showing that that is, um, you know, fear-based. And so that is not within my realm. Um, not It's not in my experience. So um, you're either having an energy imprint or you're, um, you've gone over to the light, to that side, not to say that you can't come back, you know, have be in this physical form with us, you know, per, people who have um, crossed over are still able to be present, you know, with us, just not in physical form. So for, for that, um, your energy imprints are going to be like energy that's left in a space that's been created. Like you can, for instance, um, if you're in a public place, you know, and you, um, and I've had this experience myself, like you're on a bus or a subway, right? And somebody gets up and you go and sit down. You're in their energy imprint because you can feel what's been there, right? And so we do leave energy imprints. And the more toxic or violent or um, I want to say traumatic it is, the more of an imprint it is that's there, right? Uh, for, like I was saying, you can go into any building, any um, business, and you go in and you can feel good. You can come back out and you feel bad. Um, it's the imprint of energy that's there. It's the intentions to building it up. And who's ever in there in that space, if they're not cleansing and clearing it, it kind of just builds up into that um, energy imprint, right? So to give you an example, uh, from my experience, I've had a lot of different experiences, um, you know, as far as going into different places. And it's the awareness you want to come to that, okay, this is not mine, it's theirs, right? What's mine? And so um, when you are on the journey of returning into yourself, right, your intuitive abilities, uh, waking up, what is mine, what's not mine, right? And so don't take it and things on that's not yours, right? Um, so 
one of the <laughs> experiences that I had. I was in Safety Harbor and I was walking across the street and I would come across this one walkway all the time and it was like these things would start going through my mind the minute I got into this one intersection because there was no stop sign there was no light it was dim and when it got to be dark it was like people would like just fly by that area and you would never because it was kind of come around and turn you would never know um, if you were going to get hit or whatever you know so it was kind of like um, a place where you would um, take your chances basically crossing there because um, the city for you know since I've been there didn't do anything about it um, and every time I came to that crossway uh, you know I would go into like this energy imprint that was there and it was like building up over time over time and it was so interesting I'm like because and I was questioning why do I keep going into this what is what is this right and so um, eventually I found that this woman, <laughs> um, she was, um, coming across and she would walk past there every day, right? And she would have the same thought that I was running into when she wasn't there. It was like she, she had imprinted this energy vibration there. Um, and whether it was from her orig originally or just from her to constantly walk past there because she had kids, you know. Uh, and maybe it was just her fear um, that she was putting that imprint, that um, <clears throat> that mental energy out in that space, in that area, um, or fear uh, that she had. She was putting that mental energy imprint in that space. So every time you walk through it, it was like you were going through that yourself because you could feel it and you, you would feel the thoughts and you would have those thoughts. So those are energy imprints. So again, it's going to be important to know what's yours and what's not yours, um, you know, so that way you're not taking it on, and you're, you're, because then if you're taking it on, you're in that experience, if that makes sense, right, <clears throat> and we don't want to do that, because it may not always be good or, or positive, right, <laughs> um, so um, come to find out, I was, you know, because I would go on my walks every day, too, and if, whenever I came to that one area, it was just I walked through this like bubble of imprint about this situation that was going on there, and it was really interesting because I had, um, I had reached out to the city, and I was like, you know, is there anything that can be done, you know, about, you know, this area, right? And it was really interesting how they uh, responded back to me. Is they they've been working on it and trying to get that approved um, to have that change because of course, you know, they're gonna have to put in new lighting or have to do this and do that and do that. Um, come to find out next uh, few days after that, this one woman came um, and she was telling me that she's been trying to work on this with the city to get them to do that. And she was having, it was all just coming from her. And it was like, cause I had questioned, where is this coming from? Is what is, what is going on here in this space? And it was like the next few days, um, it showed up and it was her, right? That was uh, trying to have this space change because she would walk past there with her kids all the time, you know, on her walks. And um, it was something that she was working on. So I was tuning into that. Um, and so when I had reached out, you know, I got that from, you know, the city that they were working on it. Um, but it brought the whole picture together for me, uh, what was happening. Um, and so that's where I've learned about like energy imprints, you know, not that I haven't known about it in the past about certain energy imprints, but it was really something that I had experienced on a, on a deeper level um, than just hearing about it, right? Um, so I learned a lot about from that, you know, as far as energy imprints and making sure that you're aware of it's, it's not you, uh, you're not you, you know you're not always picking up on what's yours but what is others as well so knowing the difference and how to navigate through that um so i don't know if anything changed about that and i don't know if it was originally her um who actually originally started planting the seed of that situation now whether it was somebody before her and then she was a person who wasn't realizing um, it was somebody else's, you know, um, and she was acting on it. And then if another person comes and goes into the area and they act on it, and then another person comes and they go in the, and they act on it, you know, that's how things become, right? It's like the becoming of something. And all it takes is one person to plant a seed and an energy, a vibration somewhere. It's like an energy imprint, 
it becomes something else, right? So now if you have all these people walking past there and they're all wanting to get this to, to change, you know, you have all these people trying to call into the city or whatever to make that happen. Um, so just kind of putting that out there, you know, as, you know, way things that do evolve and things happen. Um, now, whether it was hers only, and she was the one that was creating that fear and that space, um, that imprint, or if it was somebody before her and she just picked up on it, but she's the one that presented in my space um, to bring in the understanding about it, um, how that can work. And so for me, it was the, the functionality of it, learning how things happen and manifest to a point where things can become evolved, you know, through that point of being an energy imprint. Okay. All right. And um, basically just wanted to share that about energy imprints. So whenever you are going into spaces, things like that, that are not your own, um, just being aware of, you know, those things are happening about what you might be picking up on on an energetic level. All right. Happy journeys.